Hey Taurus, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your end of March general love reading. Now, keep in mind this is a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you all are doing well. So Taurus, my moon and my Mercury. When I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I heard was um, I Got Overloved by Major Harris. I'll leave the link to that song in the description box below so you can listen to it following the reading if you so choose to. Now, I heard initially this song, I really mean it. It was a sample of that song by Major Harris and it was performed by Cameron. But I knew that I was meant to actually mention the original song i feel like just the title of the cameron song is what ties into you guys energy okay because first of all the original song is i got over love right and then the cameron song is i really mean it and i feel like for a lot of y'all like i really mean it this time i'm done with that i'm done with that past situation it's time for glow ups and i literally heard this next chapter that you are coming into now, like some of you guys are already walking into it. Like when your season comes up, when Taurus season comes up, even if you are watching for your moon rising or your Venus, it still is a part of you energetically, right? That time frame. I feel like when Taurus season comes up, a lot of you all will already be walking in a different faded, along a different and faded path. Like you guys are going to be glowing radiant. You guys will be bright as this shirt, okay? Radiant. I just feel like you're on a different path and you really mean it this time. I feel like a lot of you all have been fighting for structure, stability, happiness, contentment, um, and opulence. And you deserve that. I tell people all the time, if you have Taurus in your chart, you are not meant to be broke. You are not meant to struggle. You are meant to be quite comfortable and live in a plush and enjoyable life. You you are earth. You are earth resonance. You know what I'm saying? So your domestic life was meant to be everything that you wanted to be and some. And I'm not just talking about finance. I'm, I'm talking about like your overall domestic everything. You are meant to have a sense of contentment. You really are. And so I feel like you're going already in that path. You're already in, you know, motion towards that direction. And I really mean it, just like the title of the Cameron song. But again, that's the song. It's, it'll be in the description box below so you can listen to it following the reading if you so choose to. I feel like somebody that you have ended things with just won't let you go. Or in one past, in a past instance, you may have been like trying to fight to stay in a situation. Because in the very beginning of the song, it's like a woman doing a little voiceover and she's telling him like, please don't go. And it's like, at one point you may have been begging somebody to act right. You may have been begging this person, you know, like, let's move to the next level. And I know begging may seem strong, but I feel like when you think back about it, you do feel like I was really lowering my standards for this situation. You get what I'm saying? You're not doing that no more. You are in a different portal of energy. I mean, it's, it's strong. You guys are going to be big bulls, okay? Again, regardless of where your, your placement is, that Taurus placement is in your chart, you are standing in that energy. You're standing in that power of, like, not backing down. When a bull is ready to charge or whatever, it ain't backing down from nothing. There's no fear. And I feel like you guys are moving along your path without fear, okay? Um... Major Harris was an Aquarius, so some of you guys could be dealing with an Aquarius, some moon rising a Venus individual, or was. Um, something significant could have transpired in Aquarius season, okay? You guys know that's January, February. Also, I don't know what Cameron's zodiac sign is. I don't know if it, I feel like he's an earth sign. I feel like he had earth in his chart, so again, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. I'm also hearing cancer. He may have a cancer placement as well, okay? So let's see what we get for you guys today. Um, towards someone rising Venus, we're gonna go through the cards until we get your major arcana, which is the hair font. Wow, wow, as soon as I parted it, which is the hair font, we'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after. So, you have temperance, Sagittarius energy, and then you have the um, Empress, your energy, okay, Libra, Taurus, and also Aries. Wow, two major arcanas. Do you see how she's facing her direction? They're saying, and actually, their heads are all like they kind of look like the same person. And their heads are facing the same direction. So it's like it's, it took a little bit of time for you to get over this situation or this person or move on. But you're stronger now. You're in your power. Being more graceful. I feel like your monetary life is something that you're focusing on right now. It's helping you stay on the path that you're trying to be on. Because I'm telling you, abundance is coming in. You got that rabbit right there. Butterfly talks about transformation. And notice the butterfly is red and black. That talks about being grounded. Your root chakra is red. That talks about your feeling safe, feeling secure. And that's how you guys are right now. You're trying to secure multiple bags, I feel like. And when I say multiple, if you notice here, she has two cups. 
So you guys are filling multiple cups, you know, fulfilling because those cups are full, fulfilling multiple areas in your life is what I'm getting. Okay. So let's go ahead and go through the deck again until we get your major account, which is the hair fine. I just seen the moon, just seen the three of swords also. So you guys are moving on from heartbreak. You got new love coming in too. If you're single, looks like a water sign, cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Okay. Currently at the bottom of the deck, you have the queen of wands, male or female. You getting ready to put something into action. Fire is always about action. Okay. Action, vitality. I just heard Aries. So some of you guys could be dealing with the Aries. Also, you could be putting something into play in Aries season. That's why I say I feel like before you guys actual birthday season or tour season, if you're watching for a different placement, that's not your sun sign. You guys are putting something into action right now. You're not telling people you're keeping things hush hush. I always tell you guys characters with hoods, face shields, masks, they're, they're keeping something under wraps and she has that hood on. Someone could be born in the year of the dog, the year of the pig, the year of the rooster. I just heard something about oysters and I'm immediately, okay, so someone could be trying oysters for the first time, but more than anything, I'm thinking about pearls. You know, oysters produce pearls. So somebody may be getting some jewelry for their birthday. I'm getting also, okay. So let's go ahead and go through the deck. And we want the hair font, okay, and it didn't take long for us to get there. So I'm telling you, you guys got new love coming in. Didn't I say a water sign? Look at this, and I can't make it up. So <laughs> right in front of you, you got the queen of cups, your energy, and then the ace of cups. Brand new love coming in in the past because you see how she's behind all of them. Anything behind is the past. In the past, you guys were stuck in your head in a situation regarding a situation, possibly involving something that ended eight weeks, eight months ago in August of last year. You could have been with this person for eight years. This person's birthday month or birth month could have been in August, okay? Something significant with that for someone, but more than anything, just being in your head about a situation, feeling as though your hands were tied, you were bound to a situation. She's blindfolded, so you could have felt like you couldn't see your way out of it. You are seeing your way out of it. Look at that big eye. You know, seeing your way clean out of that situation and into a new one. I feel like your cup will run it over. By the time Taurus season, again, even if you are not a sun sign Taurus, by the time Taurus season comes up, there's going to be like massive abundance coming in for you all. And I definitely feel like you're walking away from one person going into a new situation. And that's not saying like a rebound. I'm just getting like you're moving on. You know, you're not stuck in a situation that no longer is aligned for you. Um, right here, if you notice, she's in between two dogs. Dogs talk about companionship and loyalty. She's leaving one situation here and she's going towards another. She's getting ready to offer her cup into a new situation. You can end up having children with this person if you are of childbearing years. If not, it just seems like you're giving birth to a brand new situation here. Definitely water surrounding you guys. You guys know it's earth science. Earth and water is very compatible. So that it, it seems like it's a good fit. For some of y'all, you may have also met someone in, in Pisces season or before Pisces season wraps up, which is like currently now. Yeah. Um, I remember I was saying in the very beginning of that song, the Major Harris song. I got over love. I was saying in the beginning, this woman was saying like, please don't go. Like, look at the dog's eyes. He looks sad. Like, don't go. You know, this person may have done some shady shit and they never expected you to move on. And you will be, you will be, you may not have ever felt like you were going to be able to move on either. But you, again, I'm going to say you will be. Some of you all are currently already in that energy. You're standing in your power. You have a king and a queen here. Now, even though they're different elements, they are compatible because they are both royalty. So I feel like this person would be a perfect match for you. I really get that. Could be air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Or this also could be you who's being very discerning and cutting people off and standing up for yourself as that sword is up in the air. Sword up is yes, sword down is no. So you guys are standing up for yourself and how you feel because ultimately you want to be happy. And I'm going to say again, you got nothing but water here. There could definitely be a water sign who is going to make you happy. Somebody who's coming in. I always notice that you can't see what's behind him, what's behind that curtain. So for some of y'all, I feel like this is someone that you don't know. Like you don't know who this person is. This is like a brand new person coming to see your reality. Just seen the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, this is a brand new person. Pages are young, youthful. Something new coming in. Let's get a clarifier. Yeah. Some of you guys could have left a situation with someone that you were married to or engaged to, or you felt like this was your um, soulmate. You left that situation. And that's why possibly if it was very hard for you to move on, that's why, because you always see yourself with this person long-term. But I'm telling you, all aces are something new. You got new love coming in. 
If you're already in a relationship, I do definitely feel like it's going to the next level. There's going to be talks about starting a family. Um, again, if you're not of the age bracket to actually have children, blending families. But I, overall, a queen is always going to be someone's long-term consort. This is not short-lived. So there's, they're talking about going to the next level. Like two becoming one because that's one huge cup, you know. Let's get a clarifier for the queen of cups. Clarifier for the queen of cups for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. Then I said I've seen that Ace of Pentacles. Now you have it in reverse. Um, the first card you have is the Six of Cups in reverse. Now, here's you got nothing but water here. Here's the thing. You got new love coming in. Because remember what I was saying right here. She's walking away from one dog and going towards another. Again, companionship and loyalty. Okay? If you notice in this card, there's a new offer coming in. And there's someone leaving the premises. So, I feel like someone that you may have children with. Because she is pregnant here. Okay? Someone that you have children with. Or plan to build a family with or something like that. That's done and you're going in a different direction. I definitely know you're going in a different direction because you have an Ace of Cups. I, like I said, I feel like the next chapter is going to be your best chapter yet. If you are a natal, a sun Taurus, a sun sign Taurus, I feel like this birthday is going to be very enjoyable. Now, this would typically be like, okay, something is not being offered or you're not getting something. But I just heard right now when I was bringing up your birthday... I feel as though you won't have to spend a dime. Like people are going to be spoiling you or just buying you things where you don't have to even reach in your pocket. You know, that's what I'm getting there. I'm going to tuck this in here randomly. Bottom of the deck, you have the, again, wow. King of Cups in reverse. You got the Queen of Cups here. That's what I said. You guys left someone. Now, here's the thing that's tripped out. If you left someone who was a water sign, you could be meeting a new water sign. Also, some of you guys could have left a situation in water sign season, specifically Pisces season, and you're getting ready to go into a new love situation. I really get that very strong. Let's get a clarifier for the Ace of Cups. Clarifier for the Ace of Cups. And the reason why I didn't take that, um, like I said, the Ace of Pentacles, I was told that that wasn't for this. I just heard that intuitively. It wasn't for that. That was in regards to celebrations for your birthday or something like that. Like, somebody's going to be treating you like a king or a queen. You won't have to touch. I mean, literally, you won't even have to touch a bill. You won't even know what dollar amount is on any bills around your birthday, especially if you are a sun sign. Did I say? I really mean it. So, you got Major Icon and the Hangman upright. He's stuck in limbo in reverse. You're like, I really mean it. I'm moving out of this. I'm done. I'm done being stuck. I've seen the light. Then I say you guys going to be shining like the light. Look at that right around his head. Him or, she, him or her, however this applies to you, you're becoming unstuck and you're allowing yourself to be open to new love. And that's why this is going to be your best chapter yet. Some of you guys could be thinking about writing a book or you could be reading a new book or you may need to start reading more. So here's the thing. I'm hearing something about focus, right? And look at how her eye is focused. Some of you guys need to read more. Whatever genre you feel like you're guided to, instead of like watching stuff, they're telling you, read because it's going to help you establish more focus it's going to help in your day-to-day -day life because when you read it's a different type of attention span that you have to have and i know this isn't regarding love but I, I definitely feel like they're saying your attention span something with training your eye to something and like i said reading is a completely different thing than just sitting here watching a um a show because when you're reading you have to really imagine Whatever it is, you know, you have to see it with your imagination, whatever it is you're reading. So they're telling you to be creative during this time or starting to read is going to help pick up your, your energy of creation also. But I love this because this is talking about becoming unstuck, no longer stagnant, no longer comfortable, just being comfortable. Because keep in mind, this is upright. Look at the words. This is in reverse, which means you're coming out of being stuck. And that's a major icon, so that's definite. This is also associated with Piscean energy. So I definitely feel like... You got nothing but water here. I just want to show you all the cards here. Nothing but water. So on an emotional level also, there's a lot of um, things transpiring for you. And, and I feel like it's amazing. I really feel like it's all positive. No longer being stuck. Seeing things clearly now. Because upside down, he can't see the world clearly. He's upside down. He doesn't see things as they are. In reverse, he sees things exactly as they have been all along. And how they should be. And I feel like that's exactly where you are going. A brand new chapter for you. Again, aces are always newness. You guys, if you're holding a book, you turn a new page, you're on a new chapter. And that regards your life, okay? So, Taurus, Summer Rising, and Venus Individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, take care and be well. Bye.